Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be looking into how your person feels about you, how they see you, and other important insights that the cards want to reveal. Keep in mind that this reading may not resonate for all. With that being said, please check your other signs for important messages, okay? Thank you and let's begin. How do they really feel about Libra? Spirit, we ask for insights and guidance, please. How do they really feel about Libra? All right, let's see. First card out is the Ace of Wands energy. There is a strong desire here to take action. This card also speaks about a spark. They feel like there's a spark between you both. But this is a desire to finally make bold decisions, make bold action. Nothing is going to move forward unless an effort is going to be made. All right, let's see. We have the Nine of Cups energy. So this person is trying to manifest something with you, Libra. This card also speaks about wish fulfillment, all right? There's something that they want to happen with you here. We have the star card, wishing upon a star. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. So Libra, this person feels like you could be a little bit hard to reach right now, meaning that this person has no idea how to directly communicate with you. So they're hoping that the stars can align in order for something to manifest, some type of new beginning with Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands energy because I feel like this person is struggling at the moment. All right. They also feel like you have your walls up or your guards up right now. It's not very easy for this person to just come to you and talk to you for a reason. This card also speaks about perseverance, you know, not giving up. There might have been a situation in the past that brought you both burden, problems. Not about this relationship, but something outside you both has been causing pressure and stress. And so I feel like this person, the way that they cope was to distance themselves here. Or you may have also done the same here, Libra. Problems bringing each other to some type of breaking point, all right? We have the Two of Pentacles energy here. So on this person's end, there's been a lot going on, a lot of responsibilities, mundane obligations that oftentimes they feel like they're being pulled in different directions here. Some of you could also be dealing with a juggler, all right? Like there's a lot of things that they are spreading themselves too thin that you feel as though their attention is not fully focused on this relationship. Might have also been that the connection failed to launch from the initial stages, all right? Because no bold or, or fast action is being done here on this person's end. So we have the world card. Some of you could be dealing with somebody from a distance. All right. You may have also met online. But the world represents limitation, pressure. There's really something that's been weighing this person down. I feel like this may something this could be something that you are aware of or not, because I do feel like there's a secret secretive side to this person as well. Like with Nine of Cups, they would rather keep that to themselves what it is that they're experiencing here, what it is that they're feeling. But with Ace of Wands and Nine of Cups, I do feel like they have feelings for you here, authentic feelings, Libra, but they do have also their walls up here. Okay, I'm also getting that this is hurting you. Some of you may have, have, may have actually felt like this person was sort of pushing you guys away because of this wall, you know? So the World card and the Death card, wow, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. There might have been a previous ending that happened here. Something came to an end, uh, but there was some drama that played out. I do feel like this person is struggling right now to accept whatever it is that they've done and they said to you that that really led to the ending of this connection. It could be that they are regretting now that they have acted in haste without really considering how this is going to affect you, you know, the irreparable damage. And that's why I feel earlier here, Libra, that this person has no idea how to reach out, to communicate with you. It could be that this new beginning, Ace of Wands, the spark, they felt it. They saw the beginning, the potential with you. They began something without uh, really thinking about the outcome or where this is going to go. All right. An Ace of Wands energy is more of an action being taken out of impulse, out of desire. It's not oftentimes really well thought of. 
So they started something with you without really planning things through here. All right. And so when the pressure and stress got to them, it feels like they had to distance themselves from you because they were mentally struggling balancing all other commitments is what I'm getting. So at the moment, though, I see this person struggling coming into terms with what they've done because I feel like, you know, this change no longer being as close to you. That's why this person may be feeling torn and confused right now. It was them that made the decision here, Libra. Let's see. We have the Son of Pentacles. So I sense some type of sadness with the Son of Pentacles. I don't often get that from this card. But they're in this contemplative state right now. All right, reviewing what they said. I'm also seeing this energy as if they want to say sorry to you, but they don't know how. All right, for the irreparable damage, because the death card can also mean absolute ending. There's no going back to how things were, because whatever tension or fight that was, it definitely woke you up, Libra. There are things that will take time to be accepted, is what I'm getting. So in this contemplative state, I do feel like this person is feeling sort of defeated. Logic and thought has been weighing this person down. It could also be that they're not able to shrug off how they feel after hastily acting on this relationship. You know, cutting ties with you. Th this person just feels like everything is sort of falling apart here with death card in the world. Like your world is turning upside down. Alright, but is yet to find real hope and healing. I do feel like this person hasn't fully healed. Okay. So let's clarify the messages further here. Why is the Ace of Wands energy here, please? So we have the Hangman energy. Now, like you said, they have been observing, they have been contemplating. Um, they're starting to now see their actions in a different way and perspective. They're now considering and calculating what the consequences are of their action. This person could also be experiencing a fog right now, confusion. They're taking this time to really clear that confusion with themselves. Why is the Nine of Cups energy here, please? We have the Star card. That appeared twice. So I feel like this is about remaining open, fluid with their thought process. Uh, this is also feeling more optimistic about this. I feel like it's difficult for this person right now to become optimistic when they feel like this situation turned out because they acted out of haste when they should have taken the time to really consider everything here. Why is the star card here, please? We have the high priestess energy. Could be that they did not listen to their intuition. All right. They listen more to the to the ego here, which tells that that intellect holds high and mighty. And I do feel like there's a sense of being proven wrong. You know, why did I listen too much to how I felt that time without really thinking things through? And now with this silence going on, High Priestess, this really gave this person some time to really open up to seeing the situation in different angle and perspective. Why is the Nine of Wands energy here? We have the Justice. All right, so you might be dealing with another Libra, but I'm getting here right now that... This person, they made decisions without really weighing things and thinking of the consequences, right? Because the justice card can be action being taken and consequences being, being as a result. Why is the two of pentacles energy here, please? We have the knight of coins. So now you are pretty much armoring yourself. That showed up twice, by the way, knight of coins and son of pentacles. You are more armoring yourself and you're not emotionally engaging to this person. Um, in the past, I do feel like you wanted them to really fight for this relationship and really open up to you. But there's been a struggle on this person's end. The Nine of Coins, the shadow aspect of this person is that they can be very stubborn or they tend to have a outlook in life where it's very fixed. It's very methodical. It's based on the pentacle as well. What is practical. So I'm getting that now they're realizing whatever thoughts they had previously that drove them to cut communication with you, cut the relationship with you. It was because they were too closed off on the idea. So now with this hibernation period, they're coming up 
once more stepping into the sun i do feel like some of you you have uh recently received some news and update from this person with ace of wands after a period of no communication because they finally are shrugging off all that swords all that dark thoughts and whatever brought them to the brink of ending things with you in the first place okay i do feel like in the beginning they they started something with you without really having a clear plan or inkling of the outcome but now I do feel like this person is, is uh, sort of awakening, you know, an action towards their true self with the star card. This is also a choice to heal. The two star cards in this reading, it's as if they want to make amends. Something already ended, but it's only through time that they realize um, the side of their side of the situation here. We have the Ace of Cups energy. So like I said, they want to make amends. They want to make a choice to heal the rift with you. Um, there's an offer of love here page of coins energy like they're saying i want to make a difference this time around i didn't really have um taken the time to really understand the opportunity that you're giving me libra some of you felt like this person wasted the opportunity that you've given them the time the resources as well and page here is also a messenger so i do feel like they're coming forward it may it may have taken some time or it will make some time but they're coming up with an offer there's something that they want to propose to you some of you may not be keen to take this offer right away. I do feel like you're also just focusing on yourself for now with Ace of Cups and Page of Coins. Focusing on the pentacle, your finances, property, your family, whatever it is that you that you are so prioritizing right now, okay? It is you now that's perhaps not keen to opening up to this person, yeah? We have the Queen of Swords energy. So you are very perceptive, quick, confident, and strong. This is how this person sees you as well. Um, that you can give it, you can be giving them the cold shoulder right now and in silence. They also feel like you haven't fully, um, you haven't fully forgiven them for what they said and what they've done. Especially with Justice card over here, some of you felt like there this was injustice. This person treated you unfairly in the past. And that you can't forget how how they made you feel here libra so i do feel like for some of you this is a situation where this person all of a sudden got confused there was a fog all right they didn't know what to do so they quickly made decisions without really thinking of the consequences and now it caused some irreparable damage okay now i do feel like this silence and you not keen to accepting their offer it's painful for them to accept all right it the recognition of this truth now that this was a consequences of their previous action is something that they're struggling to accept and they do feel hurt they do feel in pain bottom of the deck nine of wands showed up twice so a part of them wants to keep moving forward here and persevere and win you guys back over but a part of them is also knowing and realizing how much of an irreparable damage this may have taken its toll on you libra and that you are also making smarter decisions for yourself here now problems on this person's end may have also brought them to a breaking point like they were mentally struggling balancing all things out okay but it feels like they sacrificed the relationship for some reason i'm really getting that very strongly in the pursuit of something that they felt they had to do at that time so like they said they are never proven wrong they may have thought that that was what's going to give them joy and happiness and fulfillment that the star card showed up twice here it could be something about their dream their career whatever it was or an opportunity that they think they should finally grab all right so now something awakened in this person awakened them towards their true self maybe something happened that brought what it is that they thought that was going to happen for them it didn't work out that way so now they had an awakening and they want to heal things with you here and make amends make things right with justice card they know that they treated you unfairly here. Nine of Swords is some type of guilt. All right, sleepless nights. The Devil card is them obsessing about this right now, like thinking about this or also uh, being so hard on themselves, Libra. I feel like they're judging themselves at the moment for what it is that they've done. Could be that they're coming to you and saying, I'm guilty for what I said, what I've done. I hope that you can forgive me. Um, but with Queen of Swords energy, you can forgive, but you can't forget, you know, what what you've been through was really hard as well. Like you're just observing this person right now. You might be the one considering 
what their intentions are, calculating what, what their actions might mean. Okay, this could be a situation where you're gathering information and clearing why this person is reaching out to you again. You definitely have your guards up here. All right. And with Nine of Wands energy, you're just coming out of what they've done in the past, still healing from the damage in your psyche is what I'm getting, Libra. I do feel like this is not just ordinary tension or fight. I do feel like this was something heavy, especially with Justice card showing up here. Okay. So you're finding real hope and healing right now. And this person really wants to make amends. That's what I'm seeing for you. So take this reading how it ever resonates, Libra. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'm sending you all love and light and namaste.